Hi, in this video we'll connect a PicoBorg Reverse to the Raspberry Pi. Firstly, take one of the three wire cables and connect the white wire to pin one of the PicoBorg Reverse. Secondly, we connect the other end of the same cable to pin one of the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi silkscreen has P1 written next to pin 1. Now we take the second three wire cable and connect it to the same header of the Pikeborg reverse. We'll make it so the three colours are next to each other. And do the same on the Raspberry Pi, three colours next to each other. So now if we turn the Pikeborg reverse over, we can see the middle connector has ground and V plus written into the silk screen. We'll connect our battery source to this. The red connection being positive, 9 volts in this case, goes to V plus and the black cable goes to ground. Make sure you don't get this around the wrong way. Make sure they don't fall out and turn the board back over and tighten gently with a small screwdriver. It's a good idea to give a gentle pull on the cable to make sure it's in properly. Now we'll take one motor and connect it to M1 plus and M1 minus. If you get the motor around the wrong way, it will just turn backwards. And we'll do the same with the other motor, connecting it to M2 plus and M2 minus. You don't need to connect two motors, you can just control one motor if you wish. OK, so now that that's all connected, we'll power on the Raspberry Pi. We should see the Raspberry Pi lights flicker on. We'll also connect up the battery or power source. OK, so once the Raspberry Pi has booted, we'll need to install the software. So firstly, log into the Pi. We're going to create a directory. Then we're going to change to that directory. And now we'll issue a wget command to get the software from the PyBorg website. Make sure you type this in correctly. Press enter and it should go off and download the software. OK, now we'll unzip the software and we need to change permissions to be able to execute the software by using the chmod plus x command. And to finally run the installer script we'll type dot slash install dot sh. Once that is finished, we need to reboot the Pi with the sudo reboot command. If everything has gone to plan, you should have a PyBorg logo on the desktop. OK, so if we double click the icon, a GUI should appear with two sliders and we should have the motors running in accordance with the sliders.